The Lusu Mines. One of the richest veins in Ivalis. Under Imperial Guard, no doubt. Actually, no. With but few exceptions, the Imperial Army is not permitted within Bujerba. Well, shall we proceed? You won't forgive me for asking, but you are diverting the purest of the Magisite. I can assure you it reaches Lord Vane most discreetly. Ha! Huh. You wear your saddle well. Be that as it may, I have no intention of being bridled, Your Honor. Then you prefer the whip? Stubbornness will see not only you broken, Excellency, but Bujerba as well. Ondor IV, the Marquis of Bujerba. The Marquis served as mediator at the negotiations of Damascus' surrender. It would appear that he is somewhat less neutral now. They say he's been helping the resistance. They say many things. You're certainly well informed. Who did you say you were What difference does it make? We have to find Penelo. And Penelo is your... She's a friend. She was kidnapped and taken here. Thank you. 
This is what I came here to see. What's that? It's nethocyte. Manufactured nethocyte. Nethocyte? Unlike regular magicite, nethocyte absorbs magical energy. This is the fruit of research into the manufacture of nethocyte. All at the hands of the Draclaw Laboratory. So this is where they're getting the magicite. Errand all attended to, then. Thank you. I'll repay you shortly. No, you'll repay us now. We have too much on our hands to go on holding yours. So, where did you hear this fairy tale about Nethocyte? And where did you get that sample you carry? What do you know about the Draclaw Laboratories? Tell me, who are you? Balthier? You kept us waiting, Balthier! You slipped away in Nalbana! We missed you! First to judge and know this boy. The whole affair has a smell of money about it. I may have to wet my beak a little. Keep your snout in the trough where it belongs. This thinking ill befits you, Bagamnon. But <laughs> Too long have I gone unpaid. I'll carve my bounty out of that boy. Where's Pinello? We're taking her back. The girl? Why keep the bait when you've landed the fish? We cut her loose on the way here and then off she ran crying like a babe. Hey! After them! Hey, wait up! We'll not be able to take them all. Fight who we must, leave the rest. I see you have been out walking without the company of your cortege, Lord Larsa. We caught her wandering out of the mines. You must take care with such undesirables about. 
I was kidnapped. Silence. If it is a crime to wander on one's own, then I too am guilty. Marquis, I trust that your estate can accommodate another guest. Why not? Judge Geese, I shall heed your counsel. I will not travel unaccompanied any longer. That was unexpected. Thank you, Penelo. Uh, of course. What's Penelo doing? And what's the deal with that Lamont? That's no Lamont. Lhasa Ferina Solidor, fourth son to Emperor Gramis and brother to Vane. What? That kid? Do not worry. I believe he will treat her well. Nobody knows men like Fran does. Our purposes lead the same way, to Ondor. We must find means to approach him. The Marquis is channeling money to organizations opposing the Empire. We'll start there. Marquis Andor announced my execution two years ago. If news of my survival were to spread, the Marquis may find his position compromised. The men he's been funding bear little love for the Empire. They won't be thrilled to discover that rumors of your death were, in fact, greatly exaggerated. If we were to raise a clamor to that effect, we might just get their attention. Nothing to it. I'll just go around town spreading the word. How about this? I'm Captain Bosch von Rotzenberg of Dalmaska! Well, what do you think? That certainly qualifies as a clamor. All right, Vaughn, get to it. For the girl's sake, eh? Oh, and the more people around to witness your little performance, the better. If we're going to reach the Marquis, it's up to you. We'll be waiting here if you need us. <laughs> 